Hello everyone and welcome to this short presentation on research to startup for postdocs. But it's not really for postdocs, it's for everyone who has a substantial idea at hand and some university affiliation. My name is Dirk Rieler, I'm a professor of computer science at University of Erlangen and for the last 10 years I have been turning my students' work, helping my students turn their work into startups um, to make the world a better place. And that is what should motivate you. Uh, it's completely all right if you are the entrepreneur uh, to say, I want to become independently wealthy. That's a good motivation. But better yet, of course, you have a passion or an idea where you know the world will be a better place. The only thing is that the world may not agree. So a startup actually is, by definition, an organization in search of a viable business model. You think... The world needs what you have, but the world thinks it should be different. And you need to find out what that is. And hence, if you are an entrepreneur, if you have that idea, you need to understand that you need to engage in a search process until the world, you and your idea match and meet properly. For a startup, you need that idea, that spark, ideally perhaps even something substantial implemented as part of your research already. You need a team. Um, it's possible to start alone, but it's much harder. And then you need funding. There are really two types of startups. Um, only one is able to really put a dent into the mark, into the world like Silicon Valley startups do. And those are product-focused uh, startups. They provide a product for a market where that product is a canned thing that you can repeatedly sell over and over and thereby scale uh, your revenues, the income from your products. That's a product vendor, a product company. You could also be doing projects for clients one after another. Then you will be selling your time, but it just doesn't scale. Then you would be a consulting firm. Only product vendors can get the funding also to scale. And that is what a Silicon Valley investor will tell you. You have a great idea. Come, found your company and we will fund you. We will give you the money to find the people to build out, extend and sell your product to a market. And so in stages, first the seed stage, then the series A stage, they will give you money at the po defined points in time to propel you to grow and take your, as they would say, business to the next level. Problem is, miss a step and you might be uh, out of business and they might not be funding you. Any step along the way will make you lose shares in your company. So seed stage means you lose 20% perhaps of your company. Series A means you lose another 20% and so forth. You may not be your own boss uh, quickly. Compare that, and that is my message here, with using public funding. So if you live outside Silicon Valley or um, if you want to stay your own boss and maintain the uh, rule in your own company, then public funding may be a better option. You can always combine it with outside private investor funding, but in general, public funding gives you more freedom. And so as a professor or at a university or you working with a university can acquire such public funding for different purposes. In Germany, there are substantial amounts of such funding available for you. So for one, you can simply have a stream in combination with a university of research projects to investigate at low risk to you or your company uh, develop new products. But uh, before you even found the company, you can acquire funding just to prepare for such founding. So that dedicated funding, substantial funding uh, to help you prepare a startup. Then there's another dedicated funding source for turning what you have into a startup, including the founding during the project. Follow on funding to uh, take you further in various stages. 
I have given you some examples here. This is by far not the only programs and they are all substantial. Hundreds of thousands of euro into the millions. And so this is pretty nice, arguably. And it's nicer in many respects than going to private investors. First of all, again, you don't lose any equity if you go, if you acquire public funds. They're comparatively easy to get. It takes a lot of time to convince private, can take a lot of time to convince private investors. And there's nobody meddling, no shareholders meddling, no business angel telling you to reduce your salary to extend the runway of your startup and so forth. If you're interested in this, uh, come talk to me or take these ideas to your trusted and preferred professor. Um, so with that, good luck on your venture and hopefully or maybe be in touch. Thank you and goodbye.